All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. We got another kind of Frankenstein build here, not uh, not too much of one, though. Actually, this is just a 2:30 gas engine, boot of gas that we put into a WD-45 chassis. Uh, it's the same block as the diesel block is, just has some different trim on it as far as the head and stuff. Obviously, it's got a carb over here, which it's getting clean, so it's not on there right now. Um, I figured I would just do a little walk around of it. I had a little bit of problems. We had it running and it was running real good and then stopped getting fuel. So got the carb apart. The second time or third time the car was apart, Bob? Second. second time. Okay. He only took it apart twice. Doing pretty good. Third time's a charm, so he's got one more left. <laughs> um we don't have a battery that's the right size for the diesel battery box. We actually have two of the battery boxes. Um, we're also missing the, the piece that bolts onto the top of the battery box. So we're gonna have to hunt one of those down and get a battery that fits in it. A few things we had to do, this has got diesel um, flywheel in it. The diesel starter that we do not have the correct actuator to go inside of here my finger is right here and what that does um, instead of the arbor going forward when you give it power you actually engage it with the lever as you engage this you actually push it forward and it kicks back down we uh, don't have that so we got to hunt one of those down um, diesel 45 radiator we actually had two of them. One of them didn't leak, so that was nice. First one we tried leaked. The manifold and stuff was all on it. Um, had to add a steering knuckle for the steering down here. And a bracket, kind of a silly bracket right there to hold the steering on. Bob did all that fun stuff. Uh, that's mainly because the timing cover right down there, if you can see where that bracket hits, it's just shaped just a little bit different. And I didn't feel like grinding anything off of the block. It would have been a simple solution, I guess. But, um, yeah. Anyway, got another knuckle put in there, and it's actually pretty nice now. So uh, Once we get that 45 diesel engine done, this will basically be ready now to just kind of slap right in there. And it was nice doing this because we were able to find a couple of things, parts that we were missing for that diesel build. Um, that's going to make it nice that once we do get to it, I'll be able to um, just get those and off we go. However, it's a pretty cool looking tractor. It's the diesel 45. Pretty neat. Under the hood, the exhaust came up in the wrong side of the hood, of course. And that's just a cheap pipe, obviously, that we got at the parts store. Welded together down here, if you can see. See if I can get you in there. Maybe. There, we just made a 90 and called it good. I don't know. Hopefully there's not too much back pressure there. They're supposed to have some back pressure with a muffler, so... Maybe I'm creating the right amount. Who knows? We're just going to go with that's what's going on, right? I bet it runs fine. Uh, this engine is rated at 72 horsepower at the carburetor, at the uh, flywheel. I got a little clip talking about the carburetor, and I'll play that right now, actually. I just wanted to give everybody an idea of the size of this carburetor. This carburetor on the right makes it look like a little tiny carb. That's a D19 carburetor. You know how big them are compared to, you know, the smaller four cylinders and stuff. But look at that thing. It's a Zenith. Big bad Zenith 333 to 200 or 356 cc's on the main jet. That thing is huge in there. So, that's why these have so much more horsepower, uh, why Gleaner got so much more horsepower out of them. It had a lot to do with this carb. 
I'm gonna go put it, slap it back on there. So as you can see, there's um, these little 230s were maxed out. Uh, there's not much clearance inside. You know, usually when you hop an engine up, one of the things you got to do is grind out the crank to have reliefs for the stroke. Uh, you know, if you want to stroke it out, well, these engines that was all done from the factory. Um, there's not much left inside of these. Let's put it that way. They, they, uh, Buddha. They built engines and turned them up. Ran them. Seems like didn't leave a lot of room for guys to play with them inside, but there are some things you can do to them. But yeah, pretty nice. Our gauges aren't all hooked up. This one, of course, piece of junk. Farm and Fleet, China made. Sit out in the moisture, and that's what happens. I love this sticker. It's the best, isn't it? <laughs> He's over there shaking his head. <laughs> so as you can see, WD-45 diesel radiator over here with the neck on this side. Went in there pretty good. Really, I mean, it went in there great. It like it was supposed to be in there pretty much. Um, so, you see we got the chain hooked up. We're doing some pull starting. Just because we don't have that uh, piece for the starter, like I said. So, once he gets this carb on there, we're going to pull start it getting running. And I'll get some video of it running. And I guess we'll go from there. So, here it is. Running good, got a miss in the, one of the valves is missing, you can hear it. Once you open it up, it seems to go away, but head gasket on the way for that, and we'll get that all fixed up. But in the meantime, you know, drive it a little bit. Like it just had that valve leaking from sitting over however many years it sat, hardly ever getting run. So I have a couple of valves for it if it doesn't seem like that one can be repaired, but not a big deal on them, especially. Taking the tin off is half the battle. I'm figuring out that stupid thing. What happened? Nothing? Such a stupidest thing. Well, we'll have to figure that out. Okay, it's got that figured out. Just the way that this has to be angled, we didn't have it right, so. We had to mess with it. Oh, putt putt. You hear that one cylinder, but pretty responsive there when you hit the throttle. It'd be real nice when we get that last valve sealing up. Seems to run really well, other than that. No funny noises. Um, the guy that we got this engine from is telling me stories about my uncle pulling back in the 70s, and it was pretty cool listening to him talk. I had heard a couple of stories he's told, but um, this is what he wanted to do with it. He 
said, son, just simply getting too old and won't be able to. And he was happy it was going to a home, somebody that was going to do something with it. So we didn't waste any time. We got it in a chassis and we're going to be pulling on the 25th in Freeport, the museum. Um, and uh, pretty sure that he's going to be there to see it. So that's going to be pretty cool. We still got to get some tires on it. There's an 18426 on one side on pressed steel, and then this side's got a 14928 on an Alice spin out rim that's rotten. I can't believe it's still holding up, actually. Have you hugged your tractor today, guys? I think that should be a fun little puller. Just a fun little toy in general, but it should be fun to pull. Just for the heck of it. So as you can see, I got a couple other projects around here. Keep an eye out for those. I'm gonna get more in depth. Uh, I'm actually gonna be overhauling this one. The kit's coming. I got the kit for this one, D19 diesel. That one's getting overhauled and uh, got a pair of Alice Chalmers U's and still waiting on parts for uh, Ted's LP D19 up there too, so. I think he likes it. So keep an eye out for those. Will be fun times here. Uh, just getting ready to do some harvesting too, so. Well, not, we got like six weeks yet, but. It's getting close, gotta start thinking about that stuff. So, uh, plenty of content coming up. <laughs> D19 Oasis out here. Get Dad's gasser, my brother's gasser. Put Big Mike up there. Be six of them. This is where we're going to end this one. Just a quick overview of the new tractor. We didn't get much of the build process, but I uh, wasn't really a lot to it. Just slapping it in this chassis mainly. Just putting tires on it. Next step is taking her pulling. So, I'd like to thank everybody for watching. If you like this episode, give it a thumbs up. Lay a comment down there. Hope to catch you guys on the next one.